scene in the entire series is her getting whacked a million times with that bloody spoon. Shame! No, Shame. not even before that, when she was getting the water I know, and but that was, that was my favorite. And that was a body double, so all of you guys... Because thinking, she was, like, massively pregnant all, at the time. That's one. All of you guys thinking that you saw Cersei's boobs, you're wrong. That was body double. It is just one. For the record. So, we've got that. And I really do. I love it. She gets whacked upon the spoon. The, the, with the spoon. The lady who uh, who does the... The, the whacking? Yeah. She's actually pretty hot if you look at, if you look up her... Um, All I, I know DVD. is that I was talking in front of the TV. And I was saying, again! 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 You can ask. I was, I was doing that. I get this involved in the show. When she was in the cell? Yes! And so she okay, was, okay. Yeah, when she okay. was in the cell. We're, we're on the same page for once. So you know the scene I'm talking about? Yep. She couldn't get whacked enough. I neither can I. Make his problem. I mean, I just not I, my. Problem. I work too much. So take okay, care. Okay, whatever. Just go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Cheese and rice. So now we're going to do your welcome atonement. The shame. Do it. Shame. 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 And that goes on for like twenty minutes. There's boobs flopping, lettuce flying, tomatoes. Exploding people like flashing the dicks at her, which is hilarious. <laughs> hey, Craig Sarsa, do you like what you see? It's like they couldn't have made that more vulgar if they tried. That dude was just going all out, shaking his bits around. It was hilarious too. She's just like, well, at least you've got male bits, not just female bits. So nudity is both ways. Yes, yes. At least they're fair on that. Release the penis. So Release the cracker. Her uncle Kevin, he helps her. Rescues her. Basically, you've got a nicely refurbished mountain, but she has no pull now, and she is awaiting her trial, which, by the time you see this, the episode has happened, because yep. the last episode is supposed to be Cersei's trial, which I'm completely excited about, but we are done with Cersei. I'm surprised you didn't say massively excited about, because that would have been cute. I'm like, totally, massively excited about it. Let's not do that anymore. Please. Well, you're the one that Just, pieces me. No. Well, you didn't have to continue it. Oh, and that's kids. 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 She's like 90 years old. I look good for a 90 year old. I look at least 70. Whatever. <laughs> Jamie. Quick and simple. Kingslayer. And someone who has learned to be proficient with his he, left hand. He's not a Kingslayer, really? in my opinion. Hey. In my opinion. But you totally didn't. Okay. What I just in... said. I, I know you got so caught up in that. I said he had to be proficient with his left hand, and you did I'm not just, take... I'm just saying! It All right, we'll do this then! God damn it. That is supposed to be mass job. It's like talking to Republicans. People just don't listen to your opinions. That's supposed to be mass job. Everything is supposed to be my job, but I don't do it. But anyway, he killed the Mad King. And then he knocks Braun over. He said, we're learning about him through a lot of other stuff. He... And then he gets kidnapped by Catelyn and Rob, loses his right hand, loses a few children. But it seems he has a conscience when he meets Brienne. They get kidnapped on their journey. And this is where he loses the hand. But he stops Brienne from being raped. Yep. He stops her from being raped because he mentions, hey, she's kind of a lady. And the you might not want to kill her. Her family's rich. Which was a lie. The Sapphire Islands, they actually took it as actual sapphires when they were just talking about the blue waters of Tarth. But needless to say, it was saved. So, um, somehow they end up in Bolton procession. Goddamn Boltons. And they make deals back to King's Landing, he goes. Yep. The reunion was Cersei time. <laughs> and this is where he has his golden right hand. That he can't jerk off with, like his left hand. I mean, he could. All he has to do is just put some leather on it, and he's good. <laughs> it is in position that have to Exactly. Be but it's I mean, so heavy, I would think that they would hurt. It anyway, may not be the same So he's got a Valerian size. steel sword. Yep, which can kill White Walkers. Yes, Valerian steel kills White Walkers. 
there's a few of them around. We're not going to go on lists. I actually have a list of all the swords that are around, but I'm not going to go through that. So you've got that. Um, he's one of the few that he's not as mad at Tyrion during his whole trial thing, and he sees that he's going to be put to death. He rescues him. Yep. He rescues Tyrion and lets him do Tyrion things that we've already talked about that we'll talk about again. So he goes to Dorne. Um, he has a few entertaining moments with Bra Braum. Yep. They get kidnapped, and my nose is just super massively itchy. <laughs> and, um, so he talks to, well, see, I lost it. Yeah, he talks to his bl daughter. She's blindly in love with the Dorn guy. Yep. Tristan, Tristan, something like that. T-Dude. T-Dog! Let's call him T-Dog. I'll have to there look, I, I have forgotten how Not to say it. Not the Walking Dead. But... Let's say he's captured by the Sand Snakes, put in a prison, talks to his daughter, finally gets to be seeing the prince, and he says, hey, I'm here because I think my daughter is in trouble because they received a box that is a Lannister lion, golden lion pendant. Yep. Shoved into a viper's mouth. He's kind of saying, hey, she's in... She's gonna die. And she does. Yep. And he gets... To tell in a really badass way, too. That was really cool. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. We're almost to that. Yes, 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 boss. Well, we can do it. Okay, we'll say right here. Said Alaria Sand kisses Yersella yep. yep. on her boat trip out. You know, friendly kiss. It's not like one of those romantic things. Because Tristan gets or Tristan gets to go to King's Landing. They can be married. Yay, hurrah! Get a kiss from her and poison. Die Dead. Two. Of their children are dead, and he gets to tell Mama. Yep. Well, I was going there to save her, but she died. So, sorry. Better luck next kid. So, Jamie ends up watching these events unfold, and here we are to what has happened now, where Jamie borrows Edmure, the prison prisoner, yep. and has him take over River Run. He meets Brienne, and they basically agree to disagree that we're good, but the next time we cheat, see each other, we're going to be on opposite sides. Yep. So their friendship is going to be interesting, and I'm curious whether we're going to be seeing it this season. For the record, I entirely skipped episode 8. I didn't even watch it. I just forgot to. That's... So I went from 7 to 9. I'm just saying. 7 of 9? 7 to 9. I watched episode 7 when it was out, and then when um, episode 9 came out, I watched that. But I didn't you watch totally 8. didn't get that. 7 of 9. Is Star Trek reference. I'm not a, I'm not a goddamn Trekkie. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Trekkies. I'm just not. A, I'm just not a fan. Those of you who know, no. Speak. Okay. Just speaking of Star Trek, I was really sad to hear about um yes. about Anton dying. Um, we it was totally our, his accident. And it was a recall. The vehicle was yep. recalled, and it was in park. We give our our deepest condolences to Anton, uh, his family, and his friends um, was, for his loss. It is. He was a great actor. Yep. Moving on. Tyrion. He's the youngest of the Tywin. We're still talking about Tyrion? Quickly. Okay. I will read it, and you can do whatever you I'm just you here for do. comic relief. I'm not really... Are you? You're yeah. here for ranting. Yeah, I'm good at it. It's what I'm known for. So, he's the youngest of the Tywin kids. He, he's a dwarf and constantly blamed for the death of his mother in childbirth. Known for his wine, women, wit, education, and diplomacy. People often to listen to him for advice. Yep. Some, like I was saying, you may recall that he was married before. I think he Ty should be called the small council. He, <laughs> the small, small council. Yeah, just call him, call him the small council. Just have him roaming through the seven kingdoms. So his brother figures, Jamie figures, that he's going to make him happy. He's going to hire this whore. <laughs> that's literally what she was. And that's who his first wife was until Tywin finds out. And he pays her enough silver. And basically, for every man she sleeps with, Kind of broke up the marriage. Wait, didn't Tyrion pay her to like arrange the entire thing? Tywin did. Yeah, like the the whole like meeting and getting married thing, like it was all arranged by Tywin. That's why Tyrion was Jamie so pissed did. about it. Okay, Jamie did it. Okay. Jamie. And did. then and then Tywin paid for the gang. Jamie was trying to make his brother happy. Yeah. And then Tywin found out. Oh hell no! Basically, because he doesn't like it. He doesn't like Shay well, either. Jamie's a good big brother. So, Jamie is. Jamie, Jamie and Tyrion are pretty pretty close. He's just a terrible person in general. 
Yeah, but he's working. He's growing on me. So, he basically tries to avoid his daddy and sister as much as possible because they don't like him. But he gets to slap Joffrey. He slaps Joffrey in Winterfell. Everyone wants to slap Joffrey. There's a line! Yes. There's a line to slap Joffrey. Yes. I'm in the line! He's dead and I still want to slap his little purple ass. I think ass. China's in line to slap Joffrey. And China's, <laughs> China just don't... So he goes off to the wall with John. Snow. Gives him some good advice. And he even gives Bronn a saddle, knowing that he's crippled, recovered at this point. He gives him a saddle because he wants to help him out. He understands yep. what it's like to be having a different, you know, As Tyrion said, he has a cripple. Yeah, has a cripple. He has a soft spot for cripples and bastards. Apparently. So, there's a little bit of confusion with Catelyn. And he's taken off to... A little. <laughs> a little. Please don't hurt. <clears throat> <laughs> and they head off to the Eyrie. So, he's imprisoned by her crazy sister, Lyssa, in this cool-ass cell. I mean, you could escape if you wanted to ride a cloud. Do you not recall the open cell? How is that a cool-ass cell? Because it's... I would love to imprison people in a cell like this. Here, you've got a wall. Help a cloud. Get out. Otherwise, you're screwed. That's not cool. That, that, that's just vindictive. But cool. he wins trial by combat, and he is pronounced innocent. And then that's when... His favorite mercenary comes in and play for the rest of the goddamn series. Yes. So now this is where he meets Shay. At the war camp. But you know, he's about to fight war and what the hell happens? He gets knocked out by one of his own men time in the get, head. Time to get some action. And then, oof! <laughs> miss the battle. Wake up a war hero! <laughs> Off the King's Landing. Ned's head incident. He keeps Shay close. And through what you've learned, that he marries Sansa... He's accused of murder, loses his trial, escapes and kills Shay because she's kind of in Daddy's bed. The show is getting so goddamn. And crazy. then this is where she. Sh what does he do? You love to say it. What happens? He shoots Tywin in the toilet. She said it for me. Didn't give me a chance because you. No, because talking. you weren't doing it. Because she kept talking. I wasn't gonna interrupt her. It's rude. So we've Manners. got. So we've got this guy Varys. Varys comes in and he helps him. Escape. Varys the dick was. Lots of poop jokes. Varys. Lots of poop jokes happen. And they are now with Daenerys, and he gets to hang out with dragons, which he really loves dragons. And this is Tyrion. We've got it through that. Who doesn't love dragons? I know, right? Dragons are awesome. Oh, people eat my dragons. That's who don't love dragons. It's true. Those eat my dragons, and they hate dragons. It's, it's, it's fact. Okay. It's fact. It's fact. Kids. Easy, Joffrey, sadistic child, bastard of ancestral lineage. We know how that crap goes. He's a twat. Yeah, he Period. is. He's a twat. That's, that's it. That's it. And Marcella, she's the most innocent out of all of them, and she dies because she's in love. She's a Lannister version of Sansa, except not a smartass. No, Sansa kind of deserved half of what she got. Except not a smartass, because it was her mouth. Sansa could have stopped all of it. She couldn't have stopped her dad's death. If she had not dealt with the wolf issue and said, hey, I did see Joffrey behave this way instead of taking Joffrey's side, mm. a lot of that would not have happened. Yeah. So Sansa kind of started her own mess. Well, I mean, okay, whatever. Moving we'll on. talk about what that must start. So you got Tommen. We've already said that. Baby boy gets the crown, marries the woman that marries um, every Baratheon. And a fleshlight. <laughs> loses his wife. Brother-in-law and mother to the... There's like three actual Lannisters left who matter in the series and they should all die now. Yeah. But he so. arranges everything, or through his wife, Marjorie, has decided that basically if you do church and crown together, everything will be fine. Everything is awesome! So this that is what nice. our take is. On House Lannister. We tried to condense it. On, obviously, we went off on a few little rants and whatever. Sorry. Not sorry. That's just us. No. Lost in discussion. Burn the Lannisters. Lannister. Burn the Lannisters. Burn the Lannisters. Burn them all!